What's going on, guys? This is Costi with Sharp Trading Plays. Man, we're right at March Madness. Can't wait, but everybody that knows me knows I don't care about the sport, and baseball has been lighting it up in college baseball, preseason baseball. These groups that send us games, we don't care about watching the games. We simply care about making money. That's why these higher-end programs are not based on individual days. They're long-term, and they're based on profit earnings always. What I wanted to talk about today is variance-based systems. The sharps, even the best sharps, 55, 56, 57% lifetime. But the sharps that know how to unitize their wagers make 10x on that 55% because they know how to make games bigger with a bigger edge or make games smaller with a smaller edge. It's almost impossible to make a lot of money betting sports if you're betting the same amount on every game across all sports. You have to have a unitized strategy where every game has to have a different value, just like every price or line on the game is different as well. So you have to worry about price and you're getting the best line where you shop it around in different books, but you also have to know when to put more leverage on that game. If you have a strategy, you do your homework and you truly follow it 100% and you're giving it 100% effort. This isn't for the guy that's a weekend warrior that wants to make a couple shekels on Friday, Saturday, Sunday because he's not working. If you want to be a day trader with sports, just like stocks, you have to be around when the market opens and when the market closes. Those are the most successful clients that I have and those will continue to be the most successful clients I have because they truly buy into the education that we give out. So like I said, stick to a variance-based strategy. If you're new and you're looking to become a semi-pro and do this for a passive income, have bigger wagers on games that you have a bigger edge. Not because you like it more, but because based on your homework, you have a bigger edge. Now to the complimentary selection. We are going to go to the Pac-12 USC at Washington State. Now, uniquely, Washington State is exceptional at home. It's not uncommon for a Pac-12 team that is pretty good and ranked to have a really good home record. Out of their seven losses, only one came at home. They haven't covered that many games at home where they're exceptional. They're eight and six against the number, but of late, they've done extremely well covering at home. The last five games that they had, they played Stanford. They won and covered. They had Cal, they won and covered. They had Colorado, they won and covered. Utah, they won and covered. So these are good teams. Utah and Colorado are very good teams. They beat them handily at home. They were small favorites, but they beat them by almost double digits against Colorado and by 20 plus points against Utah. USC, on the other hand, they did just win at UCLA getting five points. But outside of that, they lost at Stanford. They lost at Cal. Both games they didn't cover. They lost at Arizona State. They didn't cover. And yes, they covered against Arizona on the road, but they were getting 21 points. So they backdoored that one. This is not a good team going into the conference tournament. USC is three and seven against the number. While Washington State has only has one loss in the conference. They're eight and two. They're playing extremely well. They just took a loss recently at Arizona State, but this is a really good bounce back spot for them. I'm not too worried about the number right now. You can get seven and a half. Take the seven and a half. They're going to beat USC by double digits. Ever since USC lost their leading score a month and a half ago, they are a horrible road team, which is going to consistently keep losing on the road. I don't like them at all in this spot. Washington State is just heads and heels better than USC, and they're going to show it on their home court on a very late start at 10.30 p.m. Take the Cougars, lay in the 7.5, make a lot of money doing this, and as I always say, take advantage of my videos. I do pretty well giving out the free leans, 
But obviously, if you're a full service Telegram subscriber, you're getting access to five different groups that I have access to directly. I take the consensus of those games. We are up a lot of money on the college basketball season, but like, as I always say, $10,000 bankroll or more, preferably a lot more because then your units could be much bigger than a couple hundred dollars a unit. So I want guys playing on average a thousand a game. And to do so, you have to have a $20,000 bankroll at a minimum. So if you want to take your betting to the next level and be more of a passive income with trading sports, not betting on them, shoot me a text 775-636-7674. Gladly give you a free consultation and hopefully you become a member of my syndicate telegram plays. Have a great day.